Welcome to NCI, the National Computational Infrastructure, home to Raijin, the Southern Hemisphere's first petaflop supercomputer. Now you may not have heard of a petaflop before. Well a petaflop is a unit of computational speed. A computer with a peak performance of one petaflop can perform 1000 trillion calculations per second. Now if that's not impressive to you, think about it in terms of your average PC. The amount of calculations Raijin can perform in just one hour would take 11,000 years to complete on your average PC. So why does Australia need such a powerful computer? What are those trillions and trillions of calculations doing every single day? Well, these days every scientific field uses computing. Over 5,000 Australian researchers, government agencies and businesses use NCI's facilities to do everything from simulating tsunamis to working out how drugs affect our cells. You may have heard of the term big data before. Human genome researchers are already producing hundreds of terabytes of data each year, while the Large Hadron Collider produces one petabyte, that's one million gigabytes worth of data every single day. All that data has got to be stored and analysed. NCI already looks after some of Australia's largest data collections. On these tapes you'll find over three decades worth of pictures of Australia captured by NASA's Landsat satellites, predictions about the impact and risks of natural disasters, as well as all of the Bureau of Meteorology's daily weather observations and the CSIRO's long-term climate variability simulations. Here we are in the NCI data hall. It's really noisy in here because Raijin has over 15,000 disks and over 30,000 fans. It's also very hot in here. Raijin runs at a sweltering 95 degrees Celsius. Keeping it cool is a big job. First, cool air is blown over the racks of equipment. The resulting hot air is sandwiched between two racks, known as the hot aisle. The hot air passes through radiators filled with cold water and cools as the water takes its heat. Now this is where the cutting edge technology of the NCI building comes into play. NCI uses a technique called free cooling. There's over 100 tonnes of water flowing through these pipes. The hot water is then pumped here onto the roof where the ambient air temperature causes it to evaporate. The process from turning a liquid into a vapour results in cooling. In the past, noisy electricity guzzling chillers were used to cool the water back down. NCI now uses free cooling for over 75% of its cooling needs, saving on a lot of electricity. Thanks for joining me on a tour of our National Computing Centre. Who knows, maybe someday you'll be using these facilities to solve some of Australia's largest scientific and economic challenges.